Welcome to another episode of I'm Out of Terror. In this episode, Diane is going to be trying out This is build an The first operating system Diana used on this channel and as much as she hated it, it ended up being her main operating on her Alienware laptop. Now, she never got used to the Metro UI, so she installed the classic start menu. With Microsoft planning to release Let's see if Diana approves of the new UI. Now welcome to the desktop. Windows 10? Whatever happened with Windows 9? I'm not sure about that. A lot of people online just say Microsoft. Maybe they just made Windows 9, didn't like it, scrapped it and went on straight on to Windows 9, didn't <laughs> Windows 8? This whoa, one, this whoa, one, this whoa, one, this whoa. one doesn't. You go straight to the desktop. And this that is, just yeah. goes to show that um, a lot of people out there did not like that um, Wall Street and that people do like the um, Wall Street desktop. Who's that? No, that's just... Um, Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> Computer. It tries to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, the ball, yeah, the ball, yeah, the ball, yeah, the ball. yeah. It's a mix. It's a mix. It's a mix. Okay, so we'll go over the main new features now of Windows 10, and you tell me what you think of these main new features. Very, very useful, and I love, the, I love the pictures and, and the description, perfect. Yes. You have your notepad application up, right? Is that like the snip thing? Hmm? The snip. Oh no, it's got the snipping tool there. Yeah, no, snapping. So with the window snapping, all you used to be able to do is you put your window to the side, it snaps it there. Oh yeah, I know. And if and you this put one it to the there. top, it, it exactly. goes to the top. Yeah, okay. Now, it's a little more advanced. One thing I didn't like, though, is I wanted it to snap back into its position. When I take it away from here, I want it to snap back, but it stayed in that oh, stretched out position. I see. Um, but one of the things you can do now is... Microsoft, you should incorporate that nice Vista transparent thing. I like it. Now, I got 
Do you actually like the fact that instead of only being able to snap left and right, yeah. you can now also, if you put it up there, you can do, you know, four and four. That's useful, especially if you don't have multiple mm. screens and you want to look at multiple things at once. I think that's a really good option. Yeah. Okay, so there is now another feature. Do you ever use the keyboard combination Alt-Tab to switch to programs? Not really. So let's say you had um, paint full screen and you wanted to quickly switch to Notepad, quickly press Alt-Tab now. Alt-Tab, yes. And then that quickly switches to Notepad. Okay. You see that? So one of the things you'll notice if you look here, you, you know can keep pressing Tab to switch between them. Yeah. yeah. So um, another thing that Microsoft has added though with this, you've got add a desktop. Oh wow, well, look at that outside. You oh, can't see it. it. There it it's is. It's basically saying, and they've not paid us, oh, the screen doors and they're away. That's something that's uh, noticed with the Oculus okay. Rift, the screen door effect. But it's basically talking about the Australian NBN, which is... Oh, don't we need that, our internet? We do. Okay. <laughs> We've got the highest, most expensive Telstra plan, and it's only 100 kilobytes upload. Okay. <laughs>